So, paano pala yun sa part natin na kakastart pala natin ng trabaho, but then, nakapag-loan na tayo agad sa pag-ibig? Kung yeah. requirements is at least two years. Yes, okay. you have to have a monthly contribution for at least two years. Mm. Pero in our case, di ba, ambisyosa tayo, hindi pa two kakastart years. Kakastart pala nga, pero nakapag-loan na kami agad sa so, pag-ibig. So, pwede so, ba yun? So, pwede ba Buenos dias, guys! I am Isabel Fernandez. And I'm Gerard Santos. We are medical doctors and content creators from Sambuanga City. First and foremost, we would like to thank Sam's Homemade Kimchi for giving us this homemade kimchi. And homemade kimchi. Yes! And so, ito kakainin natin, guys, while explaining to you kung paano magkabahay kahit kulang yung pera mo. Yes! As some of you may know, we are currently in the process of building our own home yes. with our, our own salary. Last week, some of you guys DM'd us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, and commented on YouTube asking kung paano nga ba makapagtayo ng bahay kahit wala pang sapat na ipon. Yung messages nyo inspired us to recreate yung series na to. In this series, it will be our journey and yours in yep. the pursuit of building our own dream home. First things first, you have to decide kung kanino ka ba hihiram ng pera or kung saan ka ba mag-loan. So, saan-saan ba pwede mag-loan o maghiram ng pera? So, pwede sa pag-ibig, pwede sa banking institutions, pwede in-house financing, pwede ding other lending agencies. To know more about the differences between lending agencies, comment below so that we can make a separate video about it. But first, kailangan mo muna tingnan if qualified ka ba, if saan ka fit para maghiram ng pera. So, depende pa rin siya sa income mo and sa lifestyle. So, yun. Yun yung number two. You have to evaluate yourself. Are you yes. really qualified? So, may mga set of guidelines yung different banks, yung, yes. yung pag-ibig and other lending institutions. Generally, dapat 21 to 65 years old ka. Second, you have to be employed for two years or you have a business that is legitimate, second, profitable, in a span of three years. So, paano pala yun sa part natin na kakastart pala natin ng trabaho, but then nakapag-loan na tayo agad sa pag-ibig? Kung yeah. requirements is at least two years. Good question. So, good. Good, good question. question. <laughs> <laughs> Ako na nagtanong. Oh, kasi, di ba, um, sa pag-ibig, you are required to be a member for two years. Mapayat ka. No? Yes, you have to have a monthly contribution for at least two years. Pero in our case, di ba, ambisyosa tayo, hindi pa two years. Kakastart pa lang nga, pero nakapag-loan na kami agad sa so, pag-ibig. So, pwede ba yun? Paano? Under the table. Paano so, nga na if ever hindi ka pa nakapag-contribute for two years, hindi ka pa member ng pag-ibig, you can pay a lump sum. Um, ano nga yung lump sum? Baka... Lump sum is like, Lump sum ba? Sum of lump. <laughs> so, ano lump sum? Yun, it's like yes, a total yun. contribution yes, in a span example, of how many years. For example, how much nga sa pag-ibig? So, yung monthly contribution. Supposedly, minimum of 200 pesos 200 per pesos. month. Yeah. It can go up in the like spot. 200 pesos yung minimum. So, babayaran mo agad-agad in one payment for good for two, two years. years. So, that's 200 times, times 24. 24. Kasi 24 months in two years. So, that's 4,800. So, it is as if na member ka for two, for two years. years. Yes. <laughs> Kain mo na tayo, guys. So, and disclaimer lang, hindi pa rin kami marunong mag-chopstick hanggang ngayon. So, okay. You're a disgrace. Pipipip po ako. Hindi po ako expert mag-chopstick. So, huwag nyo kaming i-bash you guys. Ha? You have to have a good credit. Ano ba yun? Number three, you have to have a good credit score. Anong meaning nun? Meaning, wala kang utang. Wala kang i-loan at hindi mo nabayaran in time. Aside from loans, di ba common yung credit cards? Oh. So, so yung credit cards, kapag may balance pa na hindi na pipi, and then na notice so, ng bank. Kung may credit card ka man and you have utang sa banks, you have to pay it on time because it will be reflected sa somewhere. Mas so, ma malalaman so niya. Banks naman, you have to have a bank account sa bank kung kanino ka hihiram. Yes. So for example, if I'm borrowing sa security bank, I should be a member of security bank 
and it is more credible if yung bank account ko medyo madami-dami na yung Yes, if you liquid money ninyo is medyo malaki. Uh, number three, requirement. So first, you have to have valid IDs. It can be in the form of passports, PRC license, driver's license, and the like. So, ililist na lang namin dito ano yung mga valid IDs. Ano ba nahirapan ako? Ano ba yan? Number two is you have to have certificate of employment. So, if you are employed in a certain institution, in our case, in hospitals, Hospital. we should provide uh, COE certifying na we are currently employed. Yes. We have collateral documents. So, yung collateral documents, and dito na yung um, transfer of title, lab plans, geodetic engineer certificates of titles. Number four are supplementary documents. So, this may be in the form of bank statements, credit card score, or case medical, medical abstract, kasi na-operahan siya. Yes, so, because crucial din sa paglo-loan and insurance. You have to be physically fit. Yes. Kasi luging-lugi yung pag-ibig. If ever you apply for a loan and then may pre-existing condition ka na. Tapos, if hindi mo din disclose yun, and once malaman nila na... Uh, may specific condition ta. Okay, so then... Pwede mo revoke yung loan. Uh, yes. Pwede mo revoke yung loan. Ano, yes. Ta, yung you have to disclose it. In my part, sinabi ko nga na nag-appendicitis ako, na-operant ko. But then, it's just a simple... Um, Operation yes, lang naman. simple condition lang naman. Yeah. But you have to disclose it still and you have to provide medical abstract certifying that it's not something grave and it will yes. not affect your, your health most of the future. Kasi one, one of the owners pass away like yung sa case ni Lloyd Cadena, diba? It will be good as fully paid na yung property. Kahit hindi mo pa nabayaran, regardless kung how many years mo na nabayaran yung lupa. Pag once wala na yung owner or wala na yung nag-apply for loan, it will be good as fully paid. The application process, you can visit the banks or the EBIG in person and ask for the documents that you have to fill in. And then, you can also apply online. Papakita namin kung paano mag apply online in the later part of this video. So you have to watch the entire video for you to know how much can be borrowed. So, it will actually depend on the appraised value of the property. Take note, the loanable amount is not 100%. For instance, most of the banks and yung pag-ibig, they will only loan you 80% of the appraised value. So, for instance, yung appraised value ng lot mo that you want to purchase via pag is 1 million. Appraised value yun. They will only finance 80% of it. So, 800,000 yung ibibigay or yung isa shoulder ng pag-ibig. The remaining 20%, which is 200,000, should be shouldered by you. So, hindi ibig sabihin pag mag-loan ka, wala ka nang babayaran, wala ka nang isa shell out na money. Yes. Because aside from monthly amortization, you have to pay for the equity. So, yung equity, meaning ito yung yung 20% na hindi babayaran ng pag-ibig. So, kailangan nyo pa rin mag-prepare ng extra this amount, oh yes, extra money, para hindi kayo ma-shock na bakit may kailangan pang shell out. It's how to determine the number of years to pay. So, yun. So, it, it depends sa capacity to pay, the amount na ilo-loan mo, and yung age mo. So, for instance, yung loanable amount is 800,000 nga, di ba? So, 800,000, Pwede mo siyang i-max out to 30 years. Yes. Kapag hindi 30 years ang maximum, in other banking institutions, it's 20 years. The longer you are to pay, the lesser the monthly amortization. So, yung babayaran mo at a certain or for 30 years, medyo mababa. So, yun nga, yung interest mm -hmm. is mas malaki compared yeah. if shorter yung span mm -hmm. or shorter yung years na kailangan mo to pay. Pero bakit nga 30 years ang kinuha namin, hindi yung shorter time, like 5 or 10 years? So, Kasi first, madali ma-approve. Yes. So yun. Kasi when you apply for, like, let's say, 5 years. Kasi yun talaga yung plano namin. We, we wanted to pay the property for 5 years. But, we applied for 30 years. Why? Kasi, mas madali ma-approve when you max out the number of years to pay. Because the shorter the years that you want to apply for, the higher the salary that you should have. And the higher the salary, the higher the monthly amortization. Ang maganda lang is yung interest is also lower. For example, at this time of pandemic, 
so yung income is hindi masyadong stable, yeah. so lesser. So, ang mangyari is, if hindi mo siya mamabayaran in 3 months, ang mangyari is... So, for closing property mo, oh. yes, kukuli ng pag-ibig. Regardless sa pinayan mo ito. So, for close is, na siya. Oh. If may extra money ka, pwede mo nang i-advance. You pay on top of the monthly amortization. Yes. And you have to make sure that when you go to pag-ibig, you have to tell it is for the principal. It's not for the interest. In that case, lesser yung years na babayaran mo siya, lesser yung interest, and you will be debt-free at a shorter yes. period of time. So, yun yung plano namin. We maxed it out for 30 years, but we're planning to pay it for 3 to 5 years, hopefully. So, double kaya talaga tayo. Yeah. Also, one tip, if your salary is not enough and you are the principal owner, you can have a co-owner co or co-borrower. Yes. So, co-borrower will sign for you para i-combine yung monthly income ninyong dalawa so that you can loan a higher amount. So, for instance, 20,000. Ako, 100. <laughs> joke lang. <laughs> Kung siya 20,000, tapos ako, example, syempre, mas mataas, mga 50. So, yung combined salary namin is 70,000. So, perhaps, when you compute it, pwede nang 4 million, but you yes. have to max it for 30 years. Yes. And ideally, yung co-borrower should be your, this your spouse. spouse yes. First degree relative. And not above the age of 60 or 65. Mm -mm, yeah. So first, you have to decide where to borrow. Second is to evaluate yourself if qualified ka ba. And third is to prepare the requirements needed. And regarding sa nitty gritty details of how much you can loan or how many years you can pay, watch this. So to apply for housing loans at Security Bank, you just have to go to www.securitybank.com, click loans and click housing loans. After which, you just have to fill out the form. In the same way, to apply for Pagibig Housing Loans, just go to pagibig.gov.ph, click e-services, then click Housing Loan Application. Click Continue, then fill out the details. To compute how much you can loan via Security Bank, go to their website, scroll down, and put your annual income, desired payment term, and the loan amount, then click Calculate. Within seconds, you will be able to see how much is required as a down payment, how much you're eligible for, and how much you are to pay monthly. You will also see how much you can actually loan with your income. Take note, most banks require a gross monthly income of 50000 or 600000 per annum and a minimum loan amount of $1 million. For Pagibig Housing Loan Computation, go to www.pagibigfund.gov.ph slash ac, select the specific question you want. In this case, let's see how much income is required for the desired loan value. For a loan amount of 4 million, with a preferred period of 30 years and a repricing period of 3 years, you have to have a gross income of 64,000 pesos. In this case, you are to pay about 23,000 monthly for 30 years. Now what if we shorten the payment period? You can see that both the income required and the monthly amortization doubles. Now let's try to compute how much you can borrow based on your income. In this example, we set a theoretical gross income of 70,000 and max the payment to 30 years. So with a fixed pricing period of 3 years, you can see that you can loan as much as 4 million with a monthly amortization of 25,000. But if you lessen the payment period to 5 years, the amount you can borrow also lessens directly proportional to it. Lastly, let's compute how much you can borrow based on the value of the property. With a value of 4 million and a preferred repayment period of 30 years, you can borrow as much as 3,600,000. But you have to have a gross monthly income of about 57,000, an on hand money of 400,000 as equity, and pay about 21,000 monthly for 30 years. You may change the values to your liking until you're able to find numbers fit for your needs. So guys, we hope that you've learned something sa video na to. Uh, this has been the most requested video as in we were flooded with comments to make a yes. video like this one. Inspired din kami to share our success sa inyo so that magaya nyo rin ang process. Hope that 
you will be able to share this with your loved ones and your friends so that they too can have their dream home.